All right, here we are in a beautiful Bonita, California afternoon, about mid-afternoon, looking at a very nice 54 Ford pickup, resto mod, just very, very nice. We're kind of going to walk around, we're going to give you a feel of it. There's a lot of time and money spent on this. It is Ford-powered Ford. Very nicely done, 302 C4 automatic transmission, Ford 9-inch rear differential. Uh, has power disc brakes in the front, drum in the rear. Mustang 2 front suspension with the TCI components, tubular control arms. Just all around very special. It's built by Bob Baxter of uh, Lakeside, California. And it's uh, the interior is done by Benny Gonzalez. It's uh, just, uh, let, me, let me walk around and tell you about it. That is a 56 Ford grill in it right there. Lightly shaved on the emblem side. Beautifully presented. It's a Mercedes, what's the color called again? Iridian Silver. It's Iridian Silver. Mercedes Benz color. Mercedes -Benz color. Typically they would have a, uh, a rubber thing that drops down from here um, to hide the gap between the running boards and the doors and this is done with stainless now to hide that gap. Polished stainless. Factory door handles are still in place. There's intro wheels on it. Perfect fit for the truck, not overdone. The bumper itself is a polished stainless, it's not chrome, it's a stainless bumper. The wipers have been updated to a uh, electric instead of vacuum. Boy, just the stance is just right, it's pretty. You see the Mercedes-Benz Silver is very nice. It has the shaved emblems on the front of the hood. Really neat things as we go around here, I'll tell you as I see them. This only has about 1,500 and some odd miles on it. Could have 1,600 here. It's got 1,591 or something like that. We drove it to the chute, so it'll be closer to 1,600 miles. The hood, is, the hood is a tip forward hood. You'll see that when we get around to the engine compartment video. Mirrors go in the factory spot. They're polished. The bed has the uh, stake pods filled. I'm going to let you in the passenger side here. We'll cover this video on the other side. We'll cover the interior details a little bit more. We're just giving you a little peek as we walk around it here. Beautifully presented. The interior photos or video will, section will actually be in the shade, so that kind of gives you a color, an idea of the color as it's in the sunlight. Again, all, all the, the, the uh, door jams have been smooth. There's no spot weld lines. There's no metal lines. We'll cover that in more detail on the driver's side. Doors shut right. Again, we'll cover that, uh, that gap hider there, whatever you want to call that. It hides the gap. You can see the silver. Truck was completed at about 2010, roughly around in there. We'll have more details at Spud's Garage. The intro wheels, Neato Extreme Performance tires. It is all steel. These tail lights are really neat. Um, they're actually a combination where the gate latch is right there. They're actually, this is a two-piece 
where the wires are actually hidden in so you won't even see the wires. It has a lot of hidden wires on the truck. The bumper itself is also polished stainless on the rear. Meg exhaust tips. The wood is actually about $80 a board is what he tells me before they finished them. It's uh, some kind of exotic wood, Sapelli. We'll actually look it up for you and tell you where it came from. But you'll see the hardware. It is all steel. Has no stake pockets in it, so it's smooth. The tailgate itself has had a little custom touch. They typically go down right here on this and then up here. And then it's really straight right here. Typically it just goes straight in. The owners added metal and made it more like a picture frame. I would say it's a pretty good picture frame. The tailgate could come down if you wanted it to, but it's more meant for beauty. There's hardware, there's an Allen wrench where you can take it out there, an Allen head. But the wood is just beautiful. Those are obviously polished stainless bed strips. Took several years to build it. We're going to have pictures of the truck prior to the restoration. Definitely one you can drive. He hasn't driven it much. Obviously when you build some of these things, sometimes they, uh, you're almost afraid to put a mark in them. Oh, I did. We looked all over for a mark and the owner had pointed out one to us. We'll go over here and show it to you. Just so you know, it's nothing big. There's a little bit of a chip right here from a rock. But it's no big deal. I didn't see it until he had to show it to me. Anyway, we'll step back and give you one more look at it. Fuel door has been updated. They typically would have hung out there and it had been big old snout hanging out here. So this is a nice little pop open magnetic door. Very nice. All right, we're now I'm going to take you inside here to the interior. I'm going to take my time a little bit. It'll be worth your time. It's a beautiful truck. The interior is done by Benny Gonzalez down here in Southern California. It is a very, very nice buckskin color uh, leather. Very, very nicely done. But I'm going to cover a little bit on the door jams here. It's a leather a uh, suede combo, a couple different colors in it. Door jam to door jam, it's just stunning. We're kind of going to give you a feel here. We'll come back around and we'll definitely do some more on the, on the truck. We'll go into the bed. Now on the door jams here, they would typically have a lip that had a bunch of spot welds on it, so on and so forth. But the owner took the time to actually smooth the door jams on it. They're just just as nice as the exterior of the car, the truck. It kind of gives you a feel here. Very nicely done. This is a custom floor mat. But the same level of attention on the paint and the door jams was done. And this was painted again by SoCal here in Santee. Just, but the but everything's smooth. The door jams are smooth. Show quality. The gutters are still there. The rain, the drip rails are still on the truck. He wanted to keep the uh, stock feel. Now the seats upholstered again in leather. It does have seat belts for three. So, I want to throw a grandkid in the center or a couple different partners, you can do that. Behind the seat here is the same level of attention to detail. The carpet's done all the way up to the back. 
suede on the seat back. You can see the marks of my hands putting on it. it. Smells like brand new. The truck only has 1,500 miles on it since it was completed. Suede headliner. Custom scalloped. Now the wind's picking up on me a little bit, so I will tell you that, uh, wow, the dash has been smooth, but it retains the stock feel. And again, all this right here is all smooth and finished. There's a custom panel added at the bottom so that you can have the AC vents and AC controls. Low car style shifter with leather boot that matches the rest of the leather in the vehicle. Factory e-brake right there. 1591 miles on the odometer currently. We will be driving it back. We drove it to a park here. There's the vintage AC controls. Use the factory uh, light and wiper controls. You can see a different angle of the door jam there. Just beautiful, beautiful. We're going to fire it up so you can kind of get a feel for it. I'm not going to put my feet on the carpet. Tack works. 50 pounds of oil pressure, quarter tank it reads, it reads 14 uh, volts, and it's about 180, and we drove it here, 80 degree day here in Southern California. We'll step out and let you hear it. Beautiful. You're on Spud's Garage YouTube. You definitely uh, should go to spudsgarage.com for a lot of still photos. Of course, hang on to the end of the video as always. We're going to cover a lot more. We're going to cover the bed, other areas, undercarriage, so on and so forth. See the fuel door there. I'm thinking it's time right. for you to get in. The hits just keep coming. We're going to go underneath the hood here. What a beautiful little pickup. Ford and a Ford. The level of detail just continues. Um, Going to kind of go over it. Obviously, it has a tilt forward hood. Uh, beautifully done with chrome braces and Allen hardware. Billet and stainless. We'll go over the motor here in just a minute. All the hardware on it right there. A lot of time was spent on the firewall. Um, there's over, the wind's picking up on me a little bit here, so I hope you can still hear me. Typically, this is where the hood hinges would go and guys had bolt plates or this and that. This was actually welded and filled and beautifully done. The firewall itself retains its stock look. However, the owner says that about, they filled about 80 or 90 holes on the firewall. Roughly, every time we went over there, there was a little bit more. The engine itself is a 302 Ford, pretty much a stock 302 style, a little RV cam. Um, wind picked up, I guess, that, I hope that doesn't mess with you. As an RPR, RPM performer, uh, Edelbrock intake manifold on it with a uh, AFB Weber carburetor on it, which is an Edelbrock also. Ford racing engine dress wire separators has a billet belt drive system serpentine billet belt drive system obviously you were going to go over a lot of the undercarriage and stuff but it has a, a Mustang 2 front suspension a TCI components put on the factory frame the tubular control arms has power steering there's the power steering pump they use braided uh, lines with AN fittings. Very nicely done. The inner fenders are body color, show quality, just like the rest of it. Polished aluminum radiator. Polished billet recovery tank. 
A custom shroud here with an electronic cooling fan or electric. If you look in here, you'll also notice that you don't see a single wire. They're all hidden. Um, of course, you're going to see the wires where they need to be. But there are no wires in the engine compartment here. They're all hidden. We'll walk over to the other side here. Hope the wind isn't affecting the video too much. I'll speak up just in case it is. It's a custom where all the lines are hidden, or they come in as one spot here, which is nice. It's nice and tidy. Again, the same thing over here where the factory hinges are. It's all filled and smooth, show quality paint, just like the rest of the truck. All the, the factory seam here that you would typically see is gone. Billet stainless hardware. Very, very fastidiously done. It's got short tube headers on it. And a GM, they'd call them block hugger. It's got a high torque mini starter on it. That's a C4 automatic transmission. Has a nine inch rear differential. This engine only has about 1500 miles on it. Polished high amp alternator on there. You'll notice that even the trans cooler lines are uh, done in a braided with uh, uh, braided line with AN fittings. That's not cheesy overlap, that's real braided line. Use stainless hardware. Beautifully done. We're thinking you get the idea underneath the hood. Ford and a Ford 302 C4, Ford 9 inch rear differential. You're on uh, Spuds Garage YouTube. You'll definitely want to go to Spuds Garage eBay, eBay because we uh, will probably end up there with it. But Spuds Garage itself, SpudsGarage.com, will have plenty of still photos. Thanks for visiting. Okay, we're going to video him turning it around here so we can shoot the other side of the vehicle. What a pretty truck. My goodness. All right, let's give you the video here, the undercarriage. Same level of detail as the rest of the truck. A lot of love went into this truck. It is a six figure restoration. Um, Ford 9 inch rear differential, custom mounted with uh, coilovers and four bar suspension. Just very, very nicely done. Everything's detailed like it's supposed to be. I know this is going to be a long video. You're at the end of the video. If you're interested in this truck, it was hopefully worth your time. The tires on the rear are Nitos 255-50R17s. The four bars have been triangulated on the rear there, or in the forward section. Very nicely done dual exhaust. C4 automatic transmission. Never fails when I start one of these. Somebody uh, decides they're going to go by, but that's okay. We'll let them go by. We're hoping you're getting a good feel for the truck. A lot of love and time went into this. Took him several years to do the restoration. Has Mustang 2 front suspension with a TCI components, tubular control arms. Stainless steel front bumpers, front and rear bumpers. See the power rack and pinion steering right there. This brakes on the front. Here's the disc.
Front tire size is a 225-50R17. Wind picked up a little bit. I'm hoping you can still hear me. Beautifully done. There's the four bar suspension right there. By now, we're thinking you get the idea. You definitely want to go to spudsgarage.com, look at still photos. You're on Spuds Garage YouTube, and you'll probably see it on Spuds Garage eBay. Thanks for visiting.